So I finished my A-levels. I was looking for something to pass the time before I started my university degree at Chichester. And being a, a history student, I was interested in volunteering and to be a part of the National Park. There are lots of hidden aspects and also happy accidents, not just in its landscape, but in, in its historical centres. When it comes to the National Park, in the Neolithic period, the heathland was a large forested area and the Neolithic people cut the trees down to create their settlements. When they realised that the soil wasn't fertile enough, they moved on for a much more arable patch of ground. What sprung from those forested areas was what we now call heathland, where you have lots of heather, the sandy soils underneath, but also the, the lots of different reptiles and lots of different species that you wouldn't necessarily find in all parts of the National Park or even in all parts of the world, because they are as rare as the rainforest, if not rarer. It is a connection that we share with the National Park in the 21st century as people did in the 11th century or in the, in the 10th century. When we first started doing this uh, youth action programme in early 2019, we weren't seeing as many participants signing on to these tasks or these activities. But now it's a much expanding age group that is participating in the volunteering side. There is an importance for connecting younger generations and older generations. Once you step into this volunteering role within the National Park, you find that you all share a commonality for conserving the National Park. Just bringing people together and bridging those connections in a collaborative way, I think that that, that is how we will solve the problems that we have with climate change, with biodiversity is if we all just sort of come together and express our commonality for this environment.